A pleasant morning and welcome to the 777 Prayer and Health Ministries, a church without walls or borders where Jesus Christ is exalted as King of Kings and Lord of all Lords. We welcome you to this blessed Tuesday morning on the prayer conference to a segment entitled Your Health and You, a look at health, healing and restoration in preparation for the soon return of our God and King. I'm your host, uh, Pastor Desmond Hay, and I am super excited to be with you this morning and to be with all of God's children in this lecture as we share nuggets on health, healing, and restoration. We pray that God will bless you as you journey with us over the next few minutes. Father in heaven, we thank you for the grace to grow. We thank you for your presence and your watch care over the last 52 weeks, we've been together. Today is the 52nd uh, Tuesday of the month of the year 2021 and the last Tuesday in the month of December. We are grateful that you have kept us and we pray now, Heavenly Father, that you'd give the wind a mighty voice that Jesus saves is my prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. As you join us for this morning's lecture, we want you to understand that the information shared on this uh, platform in this lecture, it's not intended to treat or diagnose any condition. We encourage individuals who are watching and are listening or those who will listen or watch in the future to please understand that before you can use anything on this platform, anything shared in this lecture, you must consult your healthcare provider. It is for informational purposes only. It's not intended to treat or diagnose any conditions. And so we want to encourage you and put that caveat out there for your benefit and ours. Now, as we begin, we want you to understand that we teach from three perspectives. Yes, we believe in the Bible. It is still our rule of faith and practice. We believe it is the inspired word of God. The Bible says the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God abides forevermore. And our theme text here in these lectures, it comes from 1 Corinthians 10, 31. The Bible says, whether therefore you eat or drink, or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. We believe in good science, that is science that supports the Bible. We are well aware that there is science falsely so-called out there. We're well aware that there are individuals who do not believe in good science, but we are strong supporters of robust, you know, empirical data that drives our presentations. And so we are strong believers in good science. And our determination is that good science must support the Bible. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, because the true scientist is God. We also believe in inspired writings. Uh, every morning on this platform in our lectures, we utilize our textbooks, councils on health, councils on diets and food, ministry of healing. These are books that have given guidance to us and God's children for so many years. We believe that God has blessed his movement of destiny with guidance of, from the pen of inspiration through the prophetess of the Lord, uh, Sister Ellen G. White. Her counsels have been a guidance to the remnant flock as we journey on this pathway. This morning, I want to share with you from the book Counsels on Health, and it is chapter 114, and it's entitled Maintain a High Standard. Maintain a High Standard. Now, it says it is far easier to allow matters in or important institutions to go in a lax, loose way than to weed out that which is offensive, which will corrupt and destroy confidence and faith. But it would be far better to have a smaller number of workers to accomplish less and as far as possible to have these who are engaged in the work true hearted, firm as a rock in principle, loving the whole truth, obedient to all the commandments of God. 
That is why, ladies and gentlemen, we, we, we could do so many other things, but we're staying steady to this ministry of healing because God, while there is a book of numbers and he believes in numbers, he is not moved or driven by numbers. He wants the faithful Gideon army to accomplish the work he has for him to do. And so it is key that as we share this message of health, healing, and restoration, we are faithful to the principles of health and healing and not watering down those principles for the suit of others. And so God calls us to maintain a high standard, true-hearted workers, firm as a rock in principle, loving the whole truth and obedient to all the commandments of God. Causes and Health, chapter 114, uh, page 264, paragraph one. Now this morning, we are talking briefly about cola nut. Yes, if you're from the Caribbean and Jamaica, uh, you're out there saying, oh, pastor, you're talking about busy. Oh, that's what we know it as. And they call it cola nut. They call it busy, ladies and gentlemen. As a matter of fact, it is called so many names. It's cola acuminata, cola nitida, guru nut, gororo, cola nut, coleta, and uh, several French names that yours truly can't even say. But I want you to understand, ladies and gentlemen, I grew up with this cola nut in the Caribbean and what a blessing it has been. And I didn't even know some of the things I've come to learn as I researched this cola nut and come to understand a little bit more about it. Now it is the fruit of the cola tree, yes? And um, it, we, the cola trees are really indigenous to West Africa. And that's why it came over to the Caribbean. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, because the cola nut uh, came during the time of slavery. And yes, it was brought over. So the, the cola plant uh, belongs to the cocoa family. Yes, the cocoa family. And uh, in 2003, um, and and there, there's a lot of questions about the classifications of the, of the cola. It's still in a state of flux. In, in 2003, there was, following the, the angiosperm phylogeny, it changed it from um, Sterilonocenia uh, malvasia. Uh, they, they just changed the, 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 um, the genus, if, if you please. And so the star-shaped fruit is produced by trees which reach heights of up to 40 to 60 feet. Now, each fruit contains between two and five cola nuts. This little fruit, which you can see from my screen, is about the size of a chestnut. And it is loaded with caffeine. You heard me correctly. There's a reason for me presenting this this morning with caffeine, not just to talk about uh, the fact that we do not encourage individuals to uh, use caffeine, but we want you to know that there are health benefits of the cola nuts out there and it can be of great help to you. There are over 100 species of the cola nut, ladies and gentlemen, and their leaves can grow as long as 30 uh, centimeters. Now, the cola nut, it can really withstand altitudes of up to 1,000 uh, feet or about, that's about what, 300 meters uh, above sea level. It can provide, so long as it's provided with rich, deep uh, soil that is available, the, the cola nut or the busy, it, it requires tropical climate with an average temperature of at least 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It can tolerate very brief dry season and it can be cultivated in dry regions as long as it is over groundwater. Now, there are two main varieties of the, the cola nut, as you can see from the screen. There are the red cola nut and the white cola, uh, uh, which is produced rarely by the same plant species and sometimes even found in the same pod. I've seen it myself. Now, um, 
there are places in the world where it, it grows extensively, places such as Brazil, uh, the Niger, we're talking about in, um, Liberia, Sierra Leone, uh, Benin, it's, it's very popular in Sri Lanka and um, parts of East Africa. It's very popular also in the Caribbean and it thrives really in humid uh, climates, uh, predominantly in Nigeria. When I look at the research, Nigeria accounts for about 50.2% of the colonot, which accounts uh, amounts to about 139,000 tons of the total world colonot production. So Nigeria takes the cake there. Now, colonot took a very inherent um, role in the formation of West African cultural identities. Now, did you know, fact for you this morning, traditional kola nut is considered a sacred nut. And it is used in Africa, in, in African uh, spiritual tradition to communicate with gods. Yes, I found this in the research. It was chosen by, by the elders as the head or king of all seeds. Yes, indeed. In, in West Africa, uh, there are people groups uh, such as the, the Bambara, um, the Melikne people of um, Senegal and Mali. Um, they use it as a form of currency. You heard me correctly. And I want you to also realize that it is used presently as a negotiation for bride prices and as a form of respect. Uh, it is considered to be the first tree on earth in Nigeria and a whole lot of stuff that time will not permit me to talk about. Now, now I wanna share with you uh, this morning a little bit about the, the cola nut. Uh, of course, it was carried to the Caribbean. Uh, most of the Americas during the time of slavery was brought across with the slaves and has been a part of West Indian culture. Uh, most of us, we are familiar uh, with busy. I remember, let me tell you a personal story. I remembered when I was a child that um, I, I was stuck by a nail. And if you out there know what I'm talking about in the Caribbean, you, you walk and you step on nail, yes, rusty nails. And what that means, uh, yes, if you know what I'm talking about, they were fixing houses and stuff. And as kids, you're running around and there are pieces of board. And I stepped on a rusty nail. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it, ladies and gentlemen. And my feet, you know, of course, if you did not get your TT, your tetanus toxide, um, you, you, your vaccine back in the day that they, that they would give to protect against locked jaws and all this kind of stuff. You know, of course, your, your feet or that foot for, in my case, ladies and gentlemen, became swollen and um, very, it, it, was, it was serious. But my mother, God bless her, my mother knew the benefits of busy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what she did, we have, as you can see on the screen, we have the, the, the busy, she would grate the busy, you would dry it in the sun out there. I see some of you out there nodding your head, you know what I'm talking about. And then she would utilize, I don't know, I don't recall what, and poor mom can't tell me again. I don't recall what she put with it, ladies and gentlemen, but she put something with that busy and she tied it on to my foot. I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk, ladies and gentlemen. That rusty nail, you know, impacted me in a, in a very, very, very bad way. And mama tied on that busy. And it was just the other day, I was looking at my foot bottom. <laughs> Sometimes you have to look at your foot bottom. And I did not even see the mark. Of course, I've grown, I've changed, and all of that. But ladies and gentlemen, I thought I would die, I would never walk again. But mama used the busy, and it pulled out whatever was there that was may have poisoned or you know whatever happened 
it just fixed my foot and I was able to walk again. And not only that, she also tied on the stalk of the banana. You know what I'm talking about? Banana plant, they cut the stalk and yes. Oh yes, we, we've, went, we've gone through it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, growing up as kids. But let me tell you that uh, the cola nut or the busy, it has been researched for many health benefits. And there are still some effects which when consumed in large quantities can be dangerous. Uh, so we wanted to know. Uh, now stories about the busy as I've shared just now goes back for thousands of years. And it's, it's, it's used by many individuals across the Caribbean. But let me just share with you briefly this morning about uh, the cola nut. It contains two to three percent caffeine. And it has one to two percent of theobromine. Now, now, both caffeine and theobromine, ladies and gentlemen, they act as stimulants when consumed. Now, according to uh, one researcher, Ayenye, a cola nut contains substances that stimulate the body, uh, such may be helpful natural remedies for some common conditions, but may not be appropriate for everyone. Cola nut has been associated uh, to a number of strong benefits because of its rich caffeine, theobromine, and disease-fighting antioxidant content. The cola nut and its extracts, they have been used in supplements, uh, they have been used in performance enhancers, and they have also been used even in energy drink. Now, in Europe and the United States, the cola nut powder is more readily available than the nuts themselves. And um, a serving of 0 0.069 milligrams of cola nut extract equates to a single serving of caffeine. Uh, there have been claims that the cola nut uh, in Africa sweetens stale water, helps to prevent fatigue, and help to ease hunger pain. Now, I want you to realize, ladies and gentlemen, that um, a lot has gone on regarding the impact of the cola nut on uh, the metabolic rate of the body. And um, there, there is a research that suggests that the caffeine content, of course, enhances energy levels uh, by altering the activity of certain neurotransmitters in the brain. Now, ladies and gentlemen, leading to, of course, increased energy level, focus, alertness. Uh, the, the, the research also shows that um, it could enhance endurance, of course, the caffeine, you know, stimulating the brain, stimulating the brain. Now, one of the big things that we do not encourage individuals to do on this prayer conference, we're not promoters. We believe that coffee and caffeine uh, it's really deleterious to your health. It's dangerous for your health. We do not encourage individuals to consume uh, caffeine or coffee. However, uh, in terms of cuts and bruises and uh, poison that may have entered your skin, uh, making poultices for uh, the healing of certain condition, there is a purpose for the colonot in that regard. Now, one of the things I want you to know as we wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen, is that very large amount of uh, the, the colon, one researcher has shown that it has caused even death. Yes, it, it is called even death because of the high content of caffeine in this colon and um, its impact. Now, one of the things that was fascinating for me as I read through the studies and the impact that it has on the CNS, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system, because it's an active stimulant, ladies and gentlemen, and it can cause anxiety and tremors, which can be difficult to, 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 to really um, deal with or to handle. It was the powerful work of the colonot uh, for the healing of wounds. And this is my main reason. I did not understand until I came through this study, the impact of the cola nut, unlike, as I mentioned earlier, that's why my mother used it, think, 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 many years ago when I got um, stuck by, by that nail, a uh, rusty nail, uh, if you have gotten any form of poison that is in your system, I have proven 
that are the, the busy is excellent to pull from your system poison. Now, I have used it under control situation for individuals who were poisoned and they have actually ingested uh, the, the, the cola nut and it has had a powerful effect on poisoning. And um, I tell you, it is amazing. So while we understand that this is not something that you are going to use uh, in your healthy, normal diet, we do not promote the use of caffeine, but we're saying that there are instances where cola nut might be of great benefit to the overall well-being of uh, individuals. And I, I have personally seen the impact that it has had on, um, on poison. Now, there is even research, ladies and gentlemen, that found that the cola nut could possess potential antibacterial properties, which could help to prevent the growth of harmful disease-causing pathogens. Not only that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I wanted to bring to your attention that, yes, research shows that it enhances energy level, may increase our weight loss, and could help to treat migraine. And even there's work going on on the impact of the cola nut on diabetes. Now, I want you to know that the cola nut is a very, very potent, very, very powerful nut. We call it the busy in the Caribbean, and it has beneficial effects on your system. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheers for the cola nut and its benefits to be utilized when necessary for optimal health and wellness. May I pray with you as we close the session this morning. Father in heaven, we are so thankful to you today for your mercies and your grace, for your kindness towards your children. We thank you for the things of nature. We thank you for the things that you have encouraged us to use and the things you have discouraged us from using. We pray that you'd help us to use judiciously that which is good and avoid that which is harmful for our health. We pray now that uh, your children, their health will spring forth speedily. Their lives will be transformed. And Lord, as we press towards the end, we will be able to understand the things of nature and how they can improve and impact our health. Bless us to this end, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We are so thankful that you have joined us for this morning's lecture. We encourage our friends on YouTube to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that whenever we go uh, public and live, as we would say, you will hear about it and you can be uh, benefited by what we are sharing and you can be a blessing to us. We uh, meet together seven in the morning, seven in the evening, seven days per week on the 777 Prayer and Health Ministries. And so we want to say to you a blessed day and thank God for the cola nut. Now, we look forward on you joining us this evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.